In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best quarterback run in Madden 21 and possibly the best run in the entire game. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my channel is designed to help you take your Madden 21 game to the next level through different tips and strategies. I post four times a day here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe. I also go live every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I'll be live tonight, so make sure that you have the notification bell uh, turned on. That way you can uh, get access to that. If you have any questions about that, you can always text me. My number's at the top left of the screen. All right, guys, so I wanted to do a video on this. I did a video on this before, but I want to talk specifically about a couple little things here. Um, this is a little bit of an expansion to the five-wide scheme that I um, that I have in my Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook that you can pick up the entire uh, playbook breakdown in the description. There's a link there for the Madden 21 Competitor's Guide that gives my full offense, my full defense. But I wanted to talk specifically about this right here this is pretty big uh in my opinion uh, a lot of people's run defense is the nickel three three five wide and a lot of times they're going to run cover two man or mike blitz too so what i want to do is i want to show you this bunch quads quarterback draw you can also run the empty base quarterback draw and in mutt because you can have two quarterbacks you can easily um, not have to deal with the stamina issue because when one quarterback gets tired right when michael vick gets tired then you can just sub in lamar jackson so i want to talk about this run there's a couple of things that i want you to understand because if you just go out and, and head to head and try to run this play you're going to be sa sadly disappointed um, but i literally spent all night last night practicing this play perfecting it and it's truly i mean it's truly the best run that i've come across or that i've been able to find so far in man 21 so let's jump into it i've talked about it before a little bit but i want to talk about it in a little bit more detail here so first things first with this quarterback draw um i want to show you i just want to run it like it's designed so it's designed to run right to the middle right and if you try to do that you're going to be sadly disappointed because you're going to you're going to consistently you know have issues right you can get through here but you're oftentimes going to get shedded and tackled once you get through the line of scrimmage so what you want to do is you either want to run it to the right side off tackle or you want to run it to the left side and what i personally but you'll see here if i just try to run out here to sprint i'm going to run into this guy you see that right there the reason for that is because it's a pass blocking play. Notice the linemen are going to, they're going to pass block. They're not going to run block. That's why also whenever you get through the line of scrimmage here, you're oftentimes getting shedded because the lineman's first step is back. Okay. What that does for your offense is actually a big deal if you understand it. And basically what that means for me is I want to wait and then go. And the reason I want to wait and then go is I'm going to show you exactly why this is such a big deal. So um, when you go into instant replay, this is why quarterback draws are so good. It's because if the if the if the defense is in man specifically man coverage, but if they're in zone, it does it does happen as well. It doesn't matter man or zone. Watch this corner; he's not playing the run. He's in man to man coverage. Same thing with this deep blue zone. He's in man to man coverage. This is not a pass commit. I'm not pass committing on defense. This is just standard defense. He's backing off. He's backing off. What? Look at this linebacker. He's going to cover his man. This guy is going to cover his man. And this guy, 83, look, he, the only player that goes is 39. Everybody else drops back in coverage. Now, one thing you can do is if you notice, you see the routes on this play? If you playmaker this run to the left, you'll see that this, this receiver now runs – an angled route to the right. You see that? That's going to pull his guy out of the play as well a little bit better. So if I stand here again, and you're going to see they're running routes. Until Lamar Jackson passes the line of scrimmage, the, the defenders aren't going to guard him. They're just not. Um, what happens if they blitz, you ask? Well, I'm going to go ahead and blitz everybody here. I'm just blitzing all the linebackers. So the snap of the ball, watch what happens. I'm going to blitz all the linebackers, and look, it's even worse. This is why this is such a good run. Now, what you want to do, what you want to do is you really, really, trust me, you really, 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 really don't want to run or really move as soon as the ball snap. What you want to do is you want to take about a one second pause and figure out and assess where are you going to run this? Are you going to run it to the right? Are you going to run it to the left? Or are you going to run it down the middle? That one second pause is everything literally everything this year to me because what's going to happen is what they're going to start doing i'm going to blitz my safeties i'm going to press coverage i'm going to blitz my i'm going to blitz everybody 
Let me just show you what's happening. I'm blitzing everybody. Now, if I see something like this, you see how they're all blitzing towards the middle. Nobody's blitzing towards the edge. Even if they contain, it's not going to matter. Watch what happens here. Everyone's going to crash middle. And then you, right there, you know, he was able to get me. You can get outside. Now, if this, if this happens like this, what you just saw, where I blitz everybody, you know, your opponent is just blitzing everybody. All the safeties are blitzing. One thing you can do with this is this is where the bunch quads alignment really helps this run. Because if I'm going to run to the right, watch what happens at the snap of the ball. You'll see here they're going to crash all these guys in, and they literally have to blitz pretty much everybody. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually, again, remember this is a pass play. All right, that's really, really important to understand and remember. So if I'm blitzing everybody here, what I can do on this specific play, I can um, I can slide the line to certain sides. So whichever side I pre-snap identify, you know, a potential side that I want to run. Maybe it's this one right here. Um, maybe I want to run to the right. So I'm going to slide right, and I'm going to ID the far right guy. Watch what happens to snap the ball. Now he's going to get picked up. And one thing you can also do real quick is, and, and again, guys, realize they're blitzing everybody out of five wide. Everybody. That's literally how they're going to have to stop it. And even at that, guys, I would say it's hard to stop this run. So if I wanted to, what I could do is I could take this wide receiver and motion him to the left. And what you'll see here, it'll pull his defender out. Now I don't have to deal with that slot anymore. And now I can get outside. I can outrun that guy every single time with Lamar. Every single time. Because the pursuit angles are not going to, they're not going to take proper pursuit angles. So, and, and a lot of guys won't even try this. A lot of guys, what they're going to do is they're going to spy. They're going to spy. That's what they're going to do. And if you'll see here, if they spy, it actually is not too bad, but it brings them to the middle. And then you just wait a little bit and you can still get outside for about three to four. You can still get outside for about three to four on this if they spy. Again, understand how many resources they are devoting to stopping this run. Now, this is blitzing everybody with a spy. I do want to show you one little trick here. If I bring Sneed in motion, same kind of thing. If he follows, if that slot follows, then that tells me, okay, I'm going to go right. As you can see here, I'm going to go right, get outside, and that's going to give me another quick seven, quick five. This blitz in everybody. Blitz in everybody. If they don't follow... Um, let me just try to, let's just get this guy to not follow here. So if they don't follow your, your wide receiver, uh, Sneed, you're going to run to the left. So come over here. I'm going to slide left. Now I have a numbers advantage on the left side. Watch what's going to happen here. I'm just going to run left and you see here, they're going to pick up and it's going to be a big run. That motion snap to the left is critical. I mean, it, it, it makes this run so much better than it really is. Um, even though it's still a really good run. I want to show you it from Gun Empty Base as well. What's going to start happening is you'll start getting them to blitz their corners. So once they start what I would say is wide blitzing you, right? Once they start blitzing everybody on the field, you see here we're literally blitzing everybody. And what you'll see is they'll even move corners in to try to stop the outside run. So they're going to bring these guys in just like this. This is where you go to the five wide, snap of the ball, and you're just going to run straight down the middle. But it's only once they start blitzing wide. So essentially, if you want to run outside, I would run bunch quads. Because bunch quads is going to, I mean, it's going to just, you see, it's not as good in the middle. But it's really, really, really good as an outside run. Look at this. I mean, it's just outside. And you make one juke, and you're out. And I, I'm telling you guys, I have ran this play at least 100 times in the last couple days. I had been running it a little bit beforehand. Um, I dove really deep into it uh, last night a little bit more. And, man, when you dive into this thing, this thing's really hard to stop. Um, it doesn't matter if they're man or zone. So I will show – I'm going to go against some random defenses here, and I just want to show you this. Guys, if you haven't jumped in the Discord, I would highly encourage you to jump in the Discord. That's actually where I first kind of started getting an idea uh, to run this was from some guys in the Discord. So be sure to join that. link to do that is in the description. If you want to pick up the whole scheme from Gun Bunch Quads and Gun 5 Wide, I just updated my ebook, my Arizona ebook, uh, with that scheme. And it's really, really, really hard to stop. Uh, I'm just telling you right now. Uh, it's a really, really good offense. You see zone's going to do a little bit better. But one other thing about quarterbacks in Madden 21 
they don't really fumble unless they're tired. So again, as long as you're managing your fatigue on your quarterback, this is going to be fairly effective. You'll notice that the biggest thing that they can do to get the run stopped is to either spy or blitz their safeties. That's probably the most effective way. But you, what you really want to try to fight the urge of, because the urge is to do this. The urge is to snap the ball and just run. That's the urge. If you do that, you're going to get shedded. What you want to do is you want to just have that little pause to let the holes open up and then go. And oftentimes what will happen is your, your typically lane is going to be to the outside on the left side. Um, just because of the alignment of the formation or on the outside of the right side, you're going to be able to go either side of that. As you see right here, just another great run. Um, and again, I'm not pass committing. That's that's the crazy part to me. It's like here, I might go right. Uh, I messed up. Probably should have went left. Most of the time, the left side, and that's part of why I like bunch quads, because you really have to be intentional to stop the left side run. And you see here, I mean, just this run just is really good. But if you want to get the whole scheme, there's a link in the description that shows the rest of everything. It has another QB run that I think is really, really good as well. But like you see it look like this. One of the things you can do is you can motion your tight end over. Like this just right here. Just bring him in motion. We're going to slide left. And he's going to get that block. Eh, Lamar had a bad animation there. But he's, he's going to get that block on that slot corner. So, you know, if there's a slot corner out there, I'll oftentimes motion uh, somebody over. That left tackle just missed that block there. But, you know, guys, this is, I mean, this is like money for like two-point conversion plays. Like you're in the goal line, you can almost guarantee, you can almost run this with with confidence to me. Um, it's just a really, really, really tough run to stop, especially like, and then you start to throw in, what's going to happen is they're going to have to blitz everybody. It's literally what they're going to have to do. So they're going to be blitzing their slots, just like so. And then you can pop in, you know, sprinkle in here a jet touch pass with Dobbins. And what you'll see is you get pretty good blocking to the outside. So if they start cramming your middle, then you can hit that jet touch pass on the outside. So just a lot of really, really good opportunity, uh, in my opinion, from these formations this year. This this quarterback draws from me. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous how good it is. Um, just trust me, it, you know, it's really going to add a dimension to your offense you probably never thought would you would need, but it's such a good run, such a good run this year. So I want to get it out, wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I want to do a little bit deeper of a dive on it than I did the first time I posted a video about it. Um, and just wanted to continue the conversation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it was helpful. Um, I hope you see that, like, this is truly the, – the, the real trick to running this, in my opinion, is to take a little – is to take a little quick gather step in the back backfield, just a little quick, and then freeze. Let your block set up and then go. Because to me, you're never going to get just – you're not just going to get A-gap shedded. Now, if they run commit, like here, I'm going to run commit. Watch, they just blitz down. You can you can actually get out of there on the run commit. Right there, we weren't able to, but we'll show you. And this is what people will – people will literally run commit. You're in five wide, and they're going to run commit. Like, that's crazy to me. Crazy talk. You see that, I mean – Run commit does kind of kind of get it, but you can still – there's windows. I mean, you can run right down the middle. Uh, you can still get three to five in a run commit situation. Um, you may not be – the big play might be taken away a little bit, but, like, I can come right in through here and get, you know, two or three, three or four um, every single time in a run commit scenario. We'll keep run committing here. Now, if I just wait a little bit – now, you see there the proceeding was, was really good on, on Kirksey's part. But, you know, I mean, you think about it. The fact that they're going to have to run commit to stop this out of five wide is crazy. And if you make one juke or you break one tackle, it's a touchdown. So there's just so much good from this playbook. Um, Arizona really is the best playbook in the game, in my opinion. does everything you need it to do. Um, the only playbook that can kind of closely compete with it is run heavy or the Rams right now, in my opinion, uh, unless you're a bunch guy. But you see here, there's run commit, and I'm just – Run right through it. So, um, anyways, guys, that's. I mean, I just I can talk about this play for hours, but this play is so good. Like right here, you see, you break one tackle and you're out, and there's just you know nothing to do. So try let try that out with a two quarterback system and Mutt Lamar and Michael Vick. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, guys. We'll be streaming tonight. Hope to catch you on stream. This is by far the best quarterback run that I've found so far in Madden 21. It's insane how good of blocking you get. So thanks for watching, guys.